Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. I am personally on the mend from being quite sick with pneumonia. I am feeling better. I don't sound quite 100% because I'm just regaining my voice, but I am in rare form to start doing the Zodiac readings again. So we're going to start with you, Aries, as we did just have the full moon in Aries uh, last week. And what a powerful, powerful energy of illumination, realization. Um, there was a lot. It's very highly charged. There's also a lot of fire in the energy, so I'm probably going to be reading a lot of the fire signs, most all of the fire signs first. But we're going to start with you, the beginning of the zodiac. This message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aries. Keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story. If it's not resonating for you, most likely the message is not for you. Check with your other placements. Uh, or any of the other zodiac that may stand out to you. All right, Aries, let's begin. We're starting off with the soul's journey. Tapping into your energy. What's going on with Aries? First card out, we have loneliness. You may be going through a period of isolation, self-imposed isolation. You may be, well, most of you might be going through another wave of spiritual awakening. It is the energy as it intensifies, as the frequency rises, um, deeper realizations and awakenings are constantly happening in waves and waves. And so it is fast moving. It is um, shocking for many and taking that time to be in be with yourself to really process what it is that you are perceiving what is it that um you are letting go of what is it that you truly want what is calling to you now you may feel lonely in this process like nobody else understands me um I'm getting a lot of misunderstanding, wishing to have others around you that um, were going through the same thing. Trust me, Aries, there are plenty that are going through the exact same thing that you are, but we do have to take the steps to really process our own emotional stuff, psychic stuff, um, a lot of release. Mars, which is your ruler, Aries, is on the south node as I speak. And that is uh, an energy. Mars in Libra is at its detriment. It is not happy <laughs> in Libra, but it is working with the south node to release, let go, and move away from old patterns, old habits, old versions of yourself, old relationships, uh, all of it. You are not alone, Aries. I know that I'm never alone, is what it says. We have love. The next card out. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Again, another part of the process of spiritual awakening where we once had judgment and saw things as negative or good or bad, black or white. Uh, suddenly, um, that starts to dissolve and the heart chakra begins to open and we start to feel a unity of um, all. You start to see yourself in everyone and really start to commit to positivity, positive thoughts, positive perceptions uh, on yourself, on others, on situations that you may have had one 
judgment or perception on it's now you're starting to uh, see both sides and really just being more positive practicing putting that into practice of seeing the good in all things instead of seeing things as black or white good or bad <coughs> excuse me And we really are able to do that, Aries, once we start to gain or regain love for ourselves, love and compassion for ourselves. And we see, um, you know, it's hard. when we judge others, we're judging something within ourselves also. When we start to see the negativity within ourselves, the judgment within ourselves, um, we start to realize that what's going on inside emotionally is being projected outside of you. And that is your experience that you're going to have. Blame. So no longer blaming others for your unhappiness, for your discontent. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, Aries, we have growth. I love this spread so far. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and humor below that. So really uh, taking a lighter approach to life in general. Lovely. I love it. Where you had once um, blamed everything outside of yourself for what was going on in your life, what was going on in your emotions. Now you're realizing I'm creating this. I'm creating this from within myself. You may have gone back, regressed back all the way into, and this is part of the spiritual awakening too, where in our memories, in our thoughts, we have, we still have five planets in retrograde, in retrospect, going back to childhood. Who was your influence growing up? What influenced you? And what different influences pulled you in different directions? Because we all, we are all creatures, social creatures, and we want to be loved and accepted by others. Um, this is where you're growing. You're seeing yourself in, in, in the bigger scheme of things. Beautiful. <clears throat> I was, I planned on starting my Patreon back up this week to do extendeds, but under the circumstances of my physical health, I'm going to postpone that for possibly another week or so until I'm at 100%. Um, because doing extra, it's almost like doing extra long readings, but the extendeds are just pulled into a, a, a membership type of platform. Um, it benefits both me and the others, but it takes a lot more energy out of me. So we'll do that very soon to come. All right, let's talk about loneliness for Aries, please. Sacrifice light and obstacles and challenges. I'm going to start with these two cards. They're calling to me first. I think that you started to see the light. You started to have a much more con deeper connection to your soul, to spirit, and the need to let go of uh, arguments, let go of blame, let go of um, negativity, let go of a story that maybe you carried with you for so long, a story of victim consciousness. This has happened to me. This is why I am the way I am. Um, sure, you may have made great sacrifices in your light, life, but connecting to the light, connecting to your light 
and um, also seeing the solar flares, the, the plasma, the energy that's come from the sun has also began to awaken your consciousness even more. Now, that does not come without its obstacles and its challenges. You may have sacrificed um, something or someone in your past um, that may have been a connection to the light. But we go through these obstacles and these challenges so that we can learn, so that we can understand. We humans are so stubborn, we truly do not learn a life lesson until we go through the hard, hard stuff. And that requires losing some things or some people and um, letting go, letting go and uh, um, opening yourself up to receiving. What is it that I need to see? What is it that I need to hear? What is it that I need to heal? So as you commit, as you are in most likely self-imposed isolation for the most part, as much as you can anyway, um, you're taking time to really recoup, <laughs> recover from whatever has gone down here, Aries, that may have been quite a shock for you, um, the awakening, you know, rest and rejuvenate, um, you are putting into play within yourself, practicing um, seeing the good in all, opening the heart, and um, including yourself. Because the blame is also, you may be turning that back around on yourself, and you don't want to do that either. So take as much time as you need to, Aries. This is an important, we're here on Earth School. It's important that we understand what we are meant to learn through our experiences. And most of these experiences are through our relationships to others. That is the greatest teacher of all. <sighs> okay. We have the solar plexus. I'm going backwards for a minute. Solar plexus at the bottom of the deck. Overall energy for this second spread here. We have trapped in fear an accelerated motion that has fallen directly below blame. I feel like the fear that had been taking over you rapidly and quickly was your own self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence, trusting yourself, the ability to trust others, and the will, the drive that you, Aries, you're, you're again ruled by Mars. That's that will, that drive that I'm going to overcome, I'm going to conquer. Um, have I run, did, what have I done in my past? Did I run people over? I'm afraid of myself. I'm afraid of my own power, uh, I'm hearing. But the, uh, something else is also rapidly um, moving quickly, and that is your, your own ability to really connect to the cosmos, to spirit, to your soul, and to get your own answers for yourself. Let's get some clarifying cards here. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, again, that full moon is where the energy culminates and it's going, it's going, but it brings it to an all-time high intensity, right? And it really brings out our true fears. Our true emotion is fear, which we turn it around and place it blame on others when really we have to look inward. Why do I feel caged in and trapped in my myself, my situation? So that full moon energy really like brought everything to a head and it's it, it illuminated a lot of things that... Um, are very apparent now, which may not have been so obvious and apparent in the past.
We have a star under loneliness. Yeah, connecting to the light. You are going through a healing. You are going through a release. And, you know, probably understanding what your true wishes and desires have been all along. And, and how you had sacrificed that for something that maybe you maybe not even fully understand. Why did I sacrifice? Why did I sacrifice myself? Why did I sacrifice love? Why did I sacrifice connection? Look within. Because how you feel about yourself is being projected outward. Your own self-talk. You're going to receive that from others. If you think, um, I'm a bad person, that's not a good example, but just, I have a temper, I'm, I'm, I'm mean. Um, other people may say that to you. And then you're like, wait, what? No, I'm not. You're healing from this. It's a big self-realization. And there's a lot of emotions that come with the star card. A lot of emotions... Um, and why I'm saying this is this, the seven of cups, this is grief, this is regret, sorrow, loss, sadness of love. True love. Not the distorted love that humans like to uh, believe in or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to go there. But we have the Queen of Pentacles uh, below blame, trapped in fear and accelerated motion. So Aries, Queen of Pentacles has a lot of material possessions. She gives freely if somebody's in need, right? And you may have thought that that was your good deed. I'm going to help somebody else in need, whether it be financially or, you know, helping somebody mow their lawn or giving them a job or whatever it is for you. And but if you're not really coming from a place of of love inside and you're thinking you're just going to get brownie points from spirit, <laughs> it's going to backfire on you. And then you turn around and blame these people. Why aren't they appreciative of me? Why don't they? respect me well why are you giving ask yourself why am I truly giving of my things of my time of my energy bottom of the deck is the princess of swords overall this is a lot of clarity that is coming to you the ability to see things from an, a bird's eye view uh, a higher perspective and um really tapping into your inner knowing, right? Um, yeah. Four of ones below that. So overall, your perspective is changing. You're becoming clear. Now, Mercury is finally moved out of, of post-shadow retrograde. So our thinking mind is becoming a lot more clear. And there's probably some situations outside of you that have also helped kind of clean things up. We did go through a very long Venus retrograde cycle um, and Mercury retrograde cycle that had a lot of uh, trickster energies that pulled on our emotions, pulled on our psychic senses, pulled us in all these weird directions. And we didn't understand fully what was going on, but now that they are moving in the forward direction and this full moon that really just like, bam, here, this is what you need to look at, Aries, has come, has happened. Uh, now it's time to kind of settle into this newfound wisdom, this newfound understanding and work on healing um, and releasing and letting go of the old story, the blame, the shame, the guilt, the anger, the negativity. So we're going to get one last message for you, Aries. Just trying to see. The shamanic healing is calling to me for this one. 
If you're liking this video so far, Aries, please click the like button below the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. And I am very grateful for all of you who do like, share, and subscribe the videos. It helps with the growth of the channel, obviously. It also helps get the messages out to more people um, with the algorithms within YouTube. And so thank you to all of you who do. That's a very um, beautiful way to exchange energy. All right, last message for Aries, please. And if you're interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. That information is also in the description box below this video. Thank you. I knew it. You're going through a transformation. You're going from the caterpillar into the chrysalis and then into the butterfly. Transformations are messy. Transformations are uncomfortable, but it is part of life. Sort of like, mm, sort of like when we are going through puberty. You can't control it. Your body's changing, your hormones are changing, everything's changing. The way we see ourselves, the way we interact in the world changes. Think of it like that, going through that again. After the rain comes the sun, after the caterpillar becomes the butterfly, this situation you are inquiring about is somehow acting as a catalyst for a major transfer transformation. If you find yourself questioning or having regrets, don't. Try not to second guess yourself or beat yourself up. Nothing happens that is not supposed to happen. Many of your issues and situations are not anything to be upset about. They are a path to wholeness. You are the one who infuses drama and chaos into the situation. You are always given opportunities to grow and learn. Growth and learning very rarely come about when everything stays status quo and just as you think they should. Be thankful. Be thankful you have this opportunity, this wonderful opportunity to transform and heal to a better, higher rate of vibration. So that's a beautiful um, confirmation again of this uh, reading for you, Aries. You are definitely going through a um, process of the spiritual awakening, a process of stripping away the old, letting go of the old, especially in the mind. Um, and the emotions, you're opening up your heart, you're getting more in, con in connection to your own emotions so that you have the ability to self-regulate and not have the mind and the stories of the mind be the driving force here. Um, so I think that is a beautiful way to end this reading for you, Aries. I hope that you found this helpful for you and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care, bye.